We're starting off a new week and Kevin is going to create this Disney, going to build this Disneyland main entrance sign. Hula Mama sent this. I won't say your real name because I don't know if you care if people have your real name, but we know your real name. Hula Mama sent this to Kevin. Her family went to Disneyland. She lives in California. And this is what it's going to end up looking like. And she bought two I like of these. It's in color. Yeah, I do too. I like that too. She bought two of these uh, kits, Metal Earth kits, for Kevin. And uh, so he is going to create the Disneyland sign today. Is it just the one sheet? Yeah, this one's a. Um, yeah, it doesn't have as many huge parts, although it's got some detail to it. So it'll be fun. So Kevin's uh, going to sit here in front of his computer. He's watching a Twitch video and uh, he's going to make this. So when he finishes with it, I will show it to you. There we go. There we go. I can see it. Put it back where it was, Kev. There we go. <laughs> he had it perfect and now he keeps touching it. He, he, I don't think he can hear me. He has headphones on. I can hear you fine. I was showing you the other side. Oh, does it say something different? No. Yeah. What does it say? See, I can't see it through the camera. One says, um, see you real soon. Oh, okay. And the other side says, welcome. Yeah, welcome to Disneyland. Oh, okay. See, I can't see it through the camera. It says it right there. So, how did? Uh, how long did it take you? An hour? Yeah, probably. This was. Uh, this would be a good beginner one, actually. It's. It's. Um, it doesn't have a lot of um, like rounding pieces and a lot of complicated bending. So this would be a really good beginner one if you're kind of going, going to get your feet wet mm -hmm. to see if you like uh, bending it and can read the directions and stuff like that. This would be a good starter one. But it's fun. It looks cool. I like the I like the colors. I like it too. I think it's really pretty. I think it'll add a lot to that mantle to have mm -hmm. those different colors. One of uh, our banks has closed in town, but they've opened up. Um, they've uh, they've built a bunch of new ones. They've uh, they like some Kentucky banks. They have built some new ones. So like two, I think. Well, rebuilt one, built a new one, new one. Right. So I guess I don't know what they're gonna do with the that building. I, we have no idea. They could turn it into apartments or whatever. Anyway, it's Saturday and I got up early. I watched the wedding this morning, uh, the royal wedding, and it was beautiful, of course. Uh, it was really, really cool to see uh, Windsor, to see some place where we've been, and we've actually, you know, they they were on the long walk um, on the they left. Um, the chapel and then they went around and came back through the long walk to go back into the palace and uh, the castle and um windsor castle For and chariot i mean not chariot a little they were in a carriage, carriage. yes yeah. yeah kevin did not watch it <laughs> um but i watched it and i i um really enjoyed that um i wanted to tell you all too i have ordered like four 
I've pre-ordered two Mr. Man books, pre-ordered them, and then I ordered like two that were already out. One of them is called Little Miss Lucky Gets Married, and the other one is something about fatherhood, and I never can Mr. remember. Mr. Grumpy Does Fatherhood or something like that. Yeah, and those are two grown-up books. They're Mr. Man, Little Miss for grown-ups, but um, it's not like their kids can't um, listen to them. It's not like they're dirty or anything. It's just there are more adult topics that kids wouldn't be interested in. But then I pre-ordered two books. Um, One's a school. Mr. Man Goes to School. And then what was the other one? Superheroes. Oh, yeah, a superheroes one. So, um, I'm very, very excited uh, about those. Uh, so... You know, there's always uh, always new books to add to the collection. So we are going, we're on our way to Kroger right now because Kroger has drinks on sale. Water. Sorry, yeah, water, drinks, water. I'm thinking drink, you know, just to drink. Uh, but yes, they have waters on sale. I don't care for the bottles at all. I like the Dasani bottles because they're uh, a stiffer plastic. They're a thicker plastic and they don't make that noise when you drink them. I can't stand the cheap water bottles that they they make that crinkle. that crinkle when you when you drink them but it's so cheap how much is it $1.99 for 24 a dollar ninety nine for 24 bottles so you know uh we'll get them because it's cheap <laughs> uh, we we had them a few weeks ago and it was fine but i was excited to get back to the dasani bottles too i don't even know how much dasani is do you know how much we're three, even saving three four dollars Okay, so, so so these we're are saving a couple dollars a piece. Probably. So that's good. It it is good. I, I admit it. Just the sound of the bottles just drives me crazy. Well, but they tend to fill, be filled up to the very very top. They are, and they're flexible plastic. So when you're opening the lid, you tend to squeeze it and squirt water on. Yeah, you have to be really really careful opening these bottles. I think the last ones we had were Deer Park. I don't think we, we haven't had Kroger. Before. No, it wasn't Kroger brand. It was um, it was at the sale is at Kroger. Well, I'm not behind him in front of him anymore. He, I know. That was it was a mailman behind us, and he was like right on our behinds the whole time. So it the weather is ugly. It's such a beautiful day today in England, and um, of course I wish that we were there. Uh, but it was a beautiful day. If honestly, if we had been in England, I would not have been in Windsor because. <laughs> It was just so busy. I, I, they, they said, you know, the people that were out on the streets, they didn't hear one word of the ceremony. I had a better seat uh, for that wedding than than people. Did they didn't have loudspeakers and stuff set up. No, they didn't hear anything. They I didn't know. Thought they would have had big TVs and loudspeakers. No, they didn't know anything that was going on. That's they were just standing out there, literally waiting for the carriage to drive by. Yeah. yeah, that's what they were waiting for is that moment to see them, and they. They weren't going slow either. I mean, they were, they were going, you know? So, I did have a better seat for it, but you know, you know me, and just to be in England is all I would want. But it's a beautiful day there. Stormy here, it's supposed to storm a little bit. So, we're gonna um, go, like I said, to Kroger and Walmart and get the shopping out of the way. And then I don't know what we'll do the rest of the day, but I will try to check back in with you all later if I think about it. So this is the deal at Kroger. You get either 20, a 24 pack of the Steel. distilled of the, you get 24 pack of the Simple Truth or a 32 pack of Kroger. So why wouldn't you get the 32? So we're definitely getting this and not the simple truth. We just left Kroger and it was a madhouse in there. <laughs> um, but um, I was trying to show you all, I don't know if you could see clearly, why in the world would you get the 24 packs of water when you can have 32? I don't know why you would do that. Unless you have taste tested the waters side by side and you know that the simple truth is better than the Kroger, then I don't, I just don't understand why you would do, she just pulled out in front of everybody, didn't she? Yeah. Um, I just don't know why you would do that. 
Uh, so anyway, we got the Kroger brand and we got 32 bottles. So um, we, and we got five packages of them. So we're gonna have a lot of water for a while. Uh, so I am, instead of buying the Clear American bottles like I normally do, I'm gonna buy all uh, fl those flavor packs. Um, I'm gonna buy the boxes of those. I'll probably get four or five boxes of those uh, just because um, it'll last me a while. Um, I wasn't looking for you, sorry. Usually when we go in a parking lot, I try to help Kevin see if there's a place somewhere else, a, a closer place. Um, but anyway, we're going in Walmart now. Hopefully it won't be as busy as Kroger was and I have to show you what's right in front of us. Oh my goodness. This car has eyelashes on the front of it. <laughs> Is that not hilarious that is so funny we're in walmart and i wanted to show you we ran into the all the new incredibles 2 toys it says try me on that baby kevin do you want to try him and ooh, it's a look mr incredible super said oh that's awesome yeah it comes with a outfit oh and he does something oh it's baby you, well, um, Mr. Incredible does something down there too. Poke. His head turns red. See it turning around? Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah, his head turned red. And his laser eyes. That's funny. <laughs> his face turned red when he, he did it. He tooted. Okay, and then they have like the the set like that you would get at the Disney store. But then Mr. Incredible's down there and he does something. Oh, here's one, yeah. Oh, I didn't see she was in there with him. Hey there, I'm Mr. Incredible. And I'm Elastigirl. So you can get uh, Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl or you can get Mr. Incredible and Jack-Jack. I like Edna. Uh, and then they, yeah, they have Edna. Look, they have the car. Uh, they have the police car. Oh, and they have this. They only have one of these and one of the police cars. Those are cool. And those are, um, those are four dollars a piece. And here's. Hello there. I'm Mr. Incredible. How can I help? Forty sayings. Like time to save the day. Wow, forty sayings. So then they have, if you want the smaller ones, they have the bigger ones for $10. Oh, like a dress up set. Oh, yeah. The him and wipes Just, up. That's cool. Does he do anything? It says something about Pops fighting. Him. That's funny. Look, the car's been sitting in front in front of us. Look, you push the button. Yeah, it, you Wonder if, it. can you can you do anything to it? Pushes down flat, but I can't because oh, the, because it's in the box. It's in the box. And there's only one. But look, if you don't want to have like the big people like this for ten dollars, then they have the smaller ones for yeah, eight. The, the kids. Yeah. And they have the mystery packs. So so they do have a lot uh, to choose from, and these I'm assuming these are going to be the. Oh no, that's baby. him. That's the baby. Oh. And a raccoon. I don't know where the raccoon comes in. I know, baby. I know. And then all the Jurassic World stuff. That's the daughter. Oh yeah, there's the daughter right there. Oh, they have the daughter? Yeah, we haven't seen the daughter. Here we go. Oh, she's up here. Look. That's the oh. that's the mom. There's the daughter. Oh, the mom looks like the daughter. That makes sense. Yeah, well I mean she looks as good. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, oh, I'm, oh, Matt, um, I'm like you. I like Edna, too. She's just hilarious. So, really, the they pretty much have the same stuff. They had some Rampage stuff down there, but um, the Incredibles 2 was the only new stuff that we saw. We got a package. So, 
This is what happens. Mailing package. So this is what happens when I open it versus when you open it. Okay. Let's see what this is. We got a. Is that fabulous? Is that, is that the name of the magazine? Or oh, famous? Fabulous. fabulous. Fabulous, the money issue, and it has Madonna on the front is, of it. Is that actually Madonna now? No. That doesn't look like Madonna. That's Madonna. It says material It girl. does, but it's somebody else. Lucy. Oh, okay, I because I, I just looked at material girl. I wasn't well, actually. Well, she's kind of looking like Madonna. Madonna. She does look like she's going for Madonna look. Yeah. She okay. has a little birth mark. So, Fabulous magazine. Good Living Asda. Asda Magazine, Tesco, and a card. Metro Magazine. Is that one of the, yeah, one of the free magazines that they give you when you're getting on like at Waterloo Station, I'm they sure. stand outside and, and they give you um, the magazines. Yeah, they must make some money. Yeah, that, they have to make money giving those Some, out. Uh, from ads. That's cute. That is cute, little we'll cat. I'm gonna edit out what I just read <laughs> because I read out your address. <laughs> well, I didn't know what that was yeah. until I started reading and this is Johan's address. Hi, Tammy, hope you like these. And we have some, I don't want to tear that. They're candy bars and I don't want to break them. And they cut? Yeah. So these, uh, we didn't hold it up. This is a uh, one of the Metro magazines. They give you these, they're free. And I think there's a bunch of different bunch ones of different to ones, choose yeah. from. And um, we always got one when we were going in like Waterloo Station. And because they, they are fun to look at, especially like when you're in the room, if you're not doing anything. Um, a lot of times I was answering comments and Kevin was uh, working on stuff too on the computer. Copying pictures over you. Yes. Asda Cookies and Cream White Chocolate and Asda Rainbow Chalk White Chocolate. Sounds good. Well, this is interesting because I have somebody named Luke and he lives in Scotland and his favorite thing in the world is white chocolate. So, I'm wondering, he's always saying he wishes there was more white chocolate items in the United Kingdom. I'm wondering if he knows that Asda has these and if he likes these. I cannot wait to try these. Thank you very much. We never saw these, did we? Mm -hmm. I wonder. We only went in one Asda, though. Oh, is that why? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, was that, wasn't that the one we were rushed? They were closing? Was that on an Asda? I don't, I don't know. I know, one we were I know the one you're talking about, and I found the Mr. Kipling. Yeah. I don't know if that was an Asda I don't know if it was either. It was one of those ones we couldn't find in the city. We had to go, go outside the city to get to it. Are you sure that wasn't like a Morrison's? Maybe. I don't remember. Anyway. I, the, we went in so many grocery stores. Anyway, we never saw these. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. I cannot wait to do a review of these. And thank you very much for uh, the magazines. I, I appreciate those uh, just as well. I love sitting up in the bed mm -hmm. and uh, looking through magazines. So thank you. A couple of months ago, I, I showed you all, Kevin was moving from one office to another office, and I told, we told you that, that this office would probably be very temporary, and uh, so it is. <laughs> uh, Kevin and I are back over, uh, we're turning into his school right now, uh, because the, the nursing students are taking over his building, and, or new nursing teachers, nursing, nursing, anything medical, anything medical is taking over that building. Respiratory. So he, they are moving his office to a different building completely. So if there's anything to show you, that I figured that I would tell you what we're doing, what we're up to, and I figured I would show you. I don't know that uh, there will be anything. Um, we'll just have to see. Filming with Kevin's iPhone because I left my camera up in his new office, which I'll show you when we get up there. But uh, this is the hall, and he will no longer be in here. You weren't in here very long, were you? Um, well, I spent 
15, oh, 16 years. Ago. Yeah, but I mean, you moved out and then you moved back. So I was going to say, you haven't done very many lunchtime reviews in here, but you probably have actually because of all the, all the times before. before. Yes. So we've already moved a bunch of boxes out and his microwave. So now we're going to move this chair because he wants this chair. Better this chair. Yeah, he's going to take this chair and he's going to take his refrigerator and some books and then we'll be finished, right? Here, yeah. So this is the end of an era. <laughs> this will be the, I'll be the last technology person moving out of the building. Yeah. Out oh, of the whole building? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we are at the new office and Kevin just literally moved his paper from one to the other. There's something in there. There we go. Yeah. Yay. Okay, so here is his office, and he, of course, he hasn't done anything, and he won't. We won't see the finished product today. Maybe, maybe I can get him once he's finished with it to yeah. film for me. You don't mind, do you? Yeah. So, uh, all of his stuff is boxed up, but a few Minecraft things around. So, this is a really nice area, and I, I oh. like, I like the partition. Because what I'll probably do is close that door. Right. And then sit here. Right. So he, they're, they have to move. Kevin doesn't move the computer equipment. They do it. The IT, IT people come and move all the computer, phone, everything. So it'll be sitting here. He'll have a big picture of me up here. Um, There's some uh, stuff I can hang my, I can actually hang my degree. Hang your degree. That'd be nice. And there was plenty of room. There was a, there was a, de a table here for his microwave and uh, refrigerator. Thing up here, maybe. You're not afraid it will fall. Might sit on that bookshelf right there. Oh, that'd be good. As soon as people come in the door, the plaque I bought him. Yeah. So this is nice. So you can see from this side before everything gets in here. He has a lot of space. It's actually as big as that office down there. It's yeah. It's just a weird layout. We are in Aldi, believe it or not. You all know we never come in Aldi. Um, but this is one, this is a location that we've never even been in before. And um, yeah, and you ought to you ought to get whatever looks good to you because you you know we don't come in here that often, so we literally just came in the door, and everything is uh, different brands, so we have to look at everything to. It's almost like shopping overseas because you just don't know the brands. Nothing's familiar. If I so we're still. We're still in the first aisle, <laughs> um, but we have tried some of the Millville brand like fiber bars and people have sent us some of the like the peanut butter bars, but I'm looking now I'm looking at these fruit and grain bars and they look like fiber one. So I'm thinking about getting um, like a box of these blueberry to compare or if they have Cherry's my favorite, but I do not see cherry. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting some fiber one bars and comparing the two. Uh, they don't say they sell ch even sell cherry, so I guess it's just I'll have to remember that I got some blueberry and then get some blueberry fiber one. They also have uh, toaster pastries, but look, they have. The s'mores Millville, and they have the s'mores Pop Tarts. What are you getting? <gasps> Ooh! Hey, Jimbo, try this. This has got the peanut peanut butter chips and the white chocolate. Indulgent. Chips. It seems like Walmart we, has we, one. That's it's their peanut butter one. Okay, okay. But I'm, so you're I'm, gonna I'm try those? Why? Because I don't. I mean, it's got cranberries and. I think you ought to try it. If you don't like it, then uh, Gavin and Amelia will like picking at it. Okay. I like the peanut butter chips in those anyway. They also have like, these are, I guess they're a version of Oreos. Uh, they have pastry. Kevin, I'm buying some blueberry. Like, I need to buy blueberry fiber one bars. I'll have to write some of this stuff down when we get in the car. And these are like, I just bought Ashley some Quaker chewy oat bars. That's exactly what this looks like. These are is like the Quaker Chewy Oat Bars. Yeah, only 100 calories. She was looking for like s'mores, but look, they have a multi-pack up here. 
chocolate chips, s'mores, oatmeal raisin, and peanut butter. I might have to get that. Yeah, I'm gonna get oh, that. Oh yeah, because that's pack. everything, and it has s'mores in it, and we, we have s'mores at home right now. Yeah, we want everything in a variety pack. Over to try out, keeps it in my box. Buying a big box and then having to give it away. They have tons of cereal. Somebody asked me if I would try more organic cereals, and I said I'll have to look. I never even look at organic cereal. Cocoa peanut butter puffs, cocoa rice, fruit rounds, those look like fruit loops. Shredded wheat. Now we're back to the refrigerated stuff. Uh, we have that. Huh? Kevin's parents gave that to him. Mm -hmm. What for your birthday? It was, yeah, it was ages. It was the. It's the exact one, yeah. literally. And I and I'm the one that uses it. They gave it to him. So now you know that they pay twenty bucks for it. Hey, that's a good gift. Uh, well, that's how much they have it here for. They, I, it's the same it thing. Five years ago, they probably got it at, at Lowe's. Well, that's true. Time. That's true. Well, I use it every single day. Every time you're out there. Every time. So, they have all kinds of cakes to choose from. And we've actually tried the gluten-free brownies. And they were good. That's been years ago. And on this side, they have um, outdoor things. This will be their seasonal stuff that changes all the time. Yeah, they're baking out. We probably won't get anything down this aisle because down here is Coke, which we don't drink anymore. Black chalkboard paint. Jennifer did that to something. What are these? Storage. Storage ottomans. They have Peppa Pig, but look, they also have marble. We need to get you one of these. For, uh, when you're on the bed of the laptop? Or on the, the couch. <laughs> the couch with the laptop. It needs some place for a coffee cup. <laughs> you can sit the coffee cup yeah. um, that would actually be cool for Gavin, for his room. Uh, yeah. Does it go on the floor? Oh, it's yeah, a it's, a, it's a storage bin. And I mean, it's heavy, Kevin. Don't you think that would be a good gift for like his birthday? Maybe it's like a hamper. It's like a metal frame with the with a lid. Oh, so do you think that bottom part's like floppy? Yeah, these are soft sides. It's this fabric uh, on a metal. Frame. Oh, so you don't think he would like that? You don't think Christina Maybe would like it? Yeah, see, you could get one for get a million, one for him. Um, I just don't think it would hold up. They would okay. Kind of sit on it. Oh, and you can't sit on it. I mean, uh, maybe. It says seating up to 150 pounds. Oh yeah, it's it's solid. It's like uh, chipboard or something. Uh huh. We can get one if you want. I think we should. I think that's a good gift because they can store toys in there. Yeah. Now, do you want to get a Maya one or just him oh, one? Yeah, maybe one? I mean, we'd have to save it for our birthday. Or just give it to They him. have this and Peppa Pig. That's, no, I would save it. What does it say? Friendship Adventure? Yeah, I wish it did. the Incredibles. I don't think Christina, her yeah. room is purple. She'd she probably like that. It said they had uh, Minnie Mouse, but not in this one. Because if they had had Minnie Mouse, I would have yeah. got it. What's Fifteen? Fifteen. Well, we'll either give that to him, both of them for Christmas or Gavin's for his birthday and um, Amelia's for uh, her birthday, which is at Christmas. <laughs> oh, look, they have their own drinks. Raspberry lime sp sparkling water. Zero. It's funny, it says zero per... Um, Serving or ten for the container. Yeah. Isn't that There's funny? Three servings in that We've got frost. But it, if it seems like if it's zero, it would be zero. But zero is less than three. I think. Yeah, pomegranate raspberry. Where the one? So that's something. I'm not going to get any today, um, but that's something at some point that it would be fun to try. That's nice. Those little spring foam pans. Yeah. 
More trail mix, sweet and salty blend. Uh, this uh, Aldi, it seems cleaner and brighter than the other one that we've been to. Because the other one, I feel like it's running through as fast as I can. Yeah, it seems dirty and dingier. S'mores dessert bar mix. Yeah, I don't know why this one seems nicer. Okay, cinnamon. Uh, uh, yeah. Granola. I like the fudges. You look familiar. The Goya, that brand, maybe the brand is that. Are those those animals that they are? These are those animals that light up. I don't think that's as big as what he has. Yeah, his, it is. No, his is his. These are square. Uh -huh. His is round. His is a big circle. Oh, okay. It's a turtle or something. Oh. Yeah, those are. That's cool. nice though. The Incredibles uh, puzzle tin. It looks like a lunchbox. Game. Toilet seat. Princess sticker face. That's cute. That's a different kind of. Uh, that's a trampoline. Oh. I would have thought it was a little cool. Wonder uh, how big those get. Inflatable playhouse. That's nice. It'd be nice to put it in your car. You can see it goes flat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they have fruits and... So, um, we have been sent these, I think, from Germany. Uh, these little bars, Kevin, we've gotten these little bars before. And that looks delicious. Coconut crunch. And then smooth hazelnut. Ooh, and they have dark hazelnut. And they have raisin nut. Can you see if we've tried these before? I remember getting some candy bars from you. Yeah, and, and they have tons of the Moser Roth. And I know we've had this brand, but I just don't know if we've had the coconut. I want to know which ones we've had. Oh, Cattleman's Ranch. C H O C E U R. Cattleman's Ranch. That brand sounds brand sounds familiar. Beef patties, and then they have. Uh, we're going to try two of those. Oh, really? So this is what we do. We look it up on the phone. Peanut butter and something. Oh, peanut butter and jelly and milk chocolate peanut butter. And then we've tried a ton of Moser Raw. Yeah. Okay, so we can try some of these. Yeah, I don't see any more of those. We can get that one and that one and that one and this one. And what's this one? You have peanut butter sticks and milk chocolate, peanut butter and grape jelly. Like but what about these these sticks? Because those look familiar. We it must have been a different brand that Silk I sent us from Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they have a green kind, a dark mint. Well, we'll get these and try them. That's five. We did. And then they have. Kevin's gonna see if they have any meals. I've never seen this brand anywhere. It's called Big Texas Baker's Treat. I guess maybe Big Texas is the. Brand, the I don't know what they're calling the package because it looks like the brand is called Baker's Treat. 
but they have cinnamon rolls and cheese danishes. They also have Baker Street streusel cakes. Kevin's looking at the um, frozen foods. Those look like uh, tombstone yeah. pieces. Mama Cozy's. I wonder, like wonder if they have any small ones. There's their pop I mean, they're, uh, Oh, yeah, they're Hot Pockets. They're white Castles. Can't replace White, white Castles. You know? Yeah, they, that's uh, their version of a Hot Pocket. It's only 280 calories, too. What is that toast? They have some stuff down there. There's a Salisbury steak. Taquitos. Taquitos. Hot Pies. Uh, there's a Salisbury steak there and lasagna, but that's big. That's yeah, those are strong. big meals. You would have to, for lunchtime review, look. They have all kinds of chimichangas. Yeah, they don't have small ones. They have a they have small chimichangas. You don't want those. Kevin knows what he wants and what he doesn't want for his lunchtime review. So if he doesn't want it, then I don't make him well, don't eat it. Well, no, these are singles. Oh. Yeah. See down here. Look. Look down here. It's a single. Oh. Chicken and you still don't want it. Maybe sometime you'll try it. They also have bean and cheese burritos. What are you looking at? These breakfast loaves. Oh, yeah. Meat lovers, and then they have a sausage one too. 400. Are you going to try them? Yeah, why not? And they have sandwiches, but I don't, I don't know. They have a fit and active. Like Two hundred forty per sandwich. Turkey, yeah. Canadian bacon. Oh. This doesn't have turkey. These are two hundred thirty. Not that This is two. Uh, sorry, this is three ninety. Oh, this is egg whites. And this is one hundred and fifty. They're small. Let me see the 150. What's in there? They're pita pockets. Just egg and cheese. There's no meat in there. That's why. They've got sausage in this. Well, you don't have to get anything. Uh, you don't have to get anything that you don't want. Mm, see, there's four inside of each one. That's right. I have to eat. So you. Well, or give them to Andrew. Yeah, so that's, that's up to you. If you don't want them, don't get them. You could just get the breakfast balls if you want. Um, this is, no, this, I want to tell people this is of the process. This is what it's like when Kevin and I shop. People say, oh, you should take us along when you're shopping. There's one more box. It would be a lot of this. Of what? Turkey. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is the process, though, of shopping with Kevin. He likes to think. Wait, there was one more thing. There's what? It was a waffle, I think. The egg roll, that. there's waffles. Wonder how many calories they are. Two ten. That's not bad. Oh yeah. Those look good. Ice cream cups. Look at those. Those, look, those, look those do look good. Chocolate yeah, but I would like them to try them, but are we going to be able to keep them cold? I know. Because we're, we're not yeah. going, we're going to Meyer. see, they've got these that look like the, uh, right. Yeah, see, I would try those, but. Well, you know, the time when we're over here, when we can yeah, make we'll, this all last. Yeah, we'll have to try them at another time. Because. Oh, that looks like Halo Top. Ooh, I would totally so try these. Yeah, that's like Halo Top right there. Is it low calorie? Yes, oh. that's low calorie. Like Halo, that's why I got my attention. Well, but now these, yeah. 
and there's things I want to get at Meyer. In last week's vlog, I talked about how I had ordered some new books. And I ordered some, like, four Mr. Men books. And then I ordered a couple. Aw, look. Yes. See, if I was still reading the books, I would have gotten this on time because Red Nose Day is is a Thursday, and I was gonna read this for um, I was gonna read that for Red Nose Day. Well, I'll still read it to myself, Mr. Funny's Red Nose Day. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to read that one. And then this one, I is one that my friend Liz told me uh, that would, yes she'll be excited that I got this she was hoping that I would be able to read this for my channel it's called the frog prince continued and you can tell it's used I mean and it looks like it's been linged on to, I mean I don't care though it doesn't bother me at all as long as it's fine oh yeah it's fine on the inside let's see what it looks like without the dust jacket Oh, yeah, it's just a green book. But it looks like they sell it, it looks like it was through like a bookseller or something like that. Because there's a little tag on the inside, which is fine. Uh, but it it's in fine condition for me. I don't mind that at all, that it has a little tag on it. But So anyway, I wanted to show you my, my new books that I got. I have to point out to you, because this is my life, um, we have a pizza in the oven. And, hold on, I'm going to show you. This is the freezer right now. So the reason I'm pointing this out is because in last week's vlog, I talked about how I had gained weight and I was eating salads and two meals. I ate salads um, on, on the video. So then we bought three Screaming Sicilian pizzas. I have one in the oven, like I said. We bought four Oprah pizzas, which even though they have cauliflower, it doesn't matter. They're still pizza. And so we have all kinds. We bought um, ice cream. Yeah, we have all kinds of stuff. So that's what happens when I talk about that I need to go on a diet. We end up buying pizza at the store. And chicken. That's chicken. I don't know when it was that I showed this bank, but we didn't know what they were doing over here. They're actually tearing it down. And this bank has been there since, like, since I was a kid, forever. I don't know when it was built, but it's been there for a long time. And uh, they have a new bank right down the street so there's no point in having this one but i'm just surprised that they're tearing it down so yesterday when we drove by you could see into the back yeah see i want to say thank you to jean for all the coupons i appreciate it she sent some for fast food places which is good because kevin's been trying to eat out once a week for his lunchtime review channel and then she sent us some favorites and then she sent um these are um, for out to eat and then these are on chili cow which kevin will use every single one of these there's like five of these save a dollar so that'll save us five dollars so thank you very much these say they're new johnsonville flame grilled and uh so i hope we can find those because i would love to try these i also have never tried this uh, kingsford um uh, barbecue sauce so that would be cool to try that. But the Sunbelt Bakery, uh, Mark and Heidi told me about the new, uh, they were the first ones that told me about the Sunbelt Bakery bars that are out for the summer. There's a lemon meringue and a coconut cream and a key lime pie. I have not seen them anywhere. I am looking for them though and cannot find them anywhere. So I've got those. Those are the ones I want to talk about. And then she sent me a ton of other ones, Oreos. And so anyway, thank you very much, Gina. I appreciate it. 
So Memorial Day is coming up and so is graduation. And so these are the cupcakes that they have out for Memorial Day. They have the red, white, and blue two bite. And then they have the you did it uh, graduation caps. We're at Kroger by the way. And then they have on the other side, I want to show you all this because they have these loft house cookies. Have you ever seen them in a big package like this? Yeah, that's a huge package. I think that's cool because I've just never seen them in a big tray like this. And then they have these cakes, which are just bunt cakes. Oh, are they cool whip? And uh, so anyway, that's what they have for Memorial Day. And they have a couple more around here. Like they have the giant cupcakes. Okay, we're gonna go around so that I can film. Or, you try, try to go up the alley. Oh yeah, you can go up here. Okay, I showed you all this bank. I may have showed it earlier in the video, but I'm gonna show you again. This was Kentucky Bank. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Now Kevin's gonna keep going around the block and we'll see the other side of it. Yeah, yeah, go that way. Um. We'll, we're gonna go behind it and you can see. According, news according to your dad. Okay. Is that they're tearing that down and they're gonna build a CVS there. A CVS? That'll be awesome, cause our CVS is dumpy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let me, let me zoom in. That is so cool. I mean, it's horrible that they're. At least tearing. they took the furniture out of it. Yeah, at least the furniture's gone. So it, so we might be getting a CVS. Yeah, you see, uh, a CVS, and they're in the corner there, in the corner of the street. Yeah. Where that little flat concrete spot was. Yeah. Um, there's supposed to be a Vietnam War memorial there. Oh, that's nice. Well, I've, if anybody would know, Dad, I think Dad would know, cause Dad would. Dad would roll up in there and ask, <laughs> hey, what are, what are you building right here? Well, that's interesting. I'm glad we finally know something. And so you think a Vietnam War uh, Memorial will be right that's here? What, that's what he said. Well, that's neat. Oh, look. So for you all that like watching stuff like this, try to zoom in for you. I always like the time lapse of those where they somebody set up a camera and filmed it over many, yeah. many months. Like, speed it up. It takes them down. Yeah. Nope. I've heard some ball. I think kids like these videos too, where they can see. Like Gavin has that book, Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. Ashley bought for him. He absolutely loves that book. And if you have not read that book, I th I love it. I love that book. That's one of those that I think a lot of people are missing out on. It's called Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. Very, very good children's book, and for boys or girls. Do you think he's spraying water because it's so hot outside? Might be asbestos. Oh. If it has asbestos though, wouldn't they have a special crew? Yeah, I would think that would just, I think it's just to keep the dust down. Dirt and crud. Kevin's out here pumping gas, and he's watching Hanna-Barbera. He was literally watching a cartoon, and now it went off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yanni or Laurel. Oh my gosh. See, Kevin's never heard of that. And I hadn't either until someone brought it to my attention. There was literally, though, like a Hanna-Barbera uh, Yogi Bear, uh, cartoon. You can tell Kevin was low on gas. It's still going. How much gas do you think it'll take for him? How much money do you think we'll spend before he, uh, he, before he fills up? I would have, 
I think like 32 is what I'm gonna guess. And that'll fill him up. So you all will have to tell me your vehicle, how much it costs you to fill up your vehicle. Okay, oh, we're past 32. Is it gonna be 34? Uh, no, past 34. This is actually like the news that's on this TV. That's weird. Wow, $36. I wonder how much it is a gallon. 37. Um, he keeps going. It stops and he wants to fill it to the better end. Okay. 38.80. So that's how much we got. 38.80. We have some packages to open, so I'm just gonna get started. Oh, Kevin, <laughs> I'll get started as soon as he cuts the tape, and I'll tell you who these are from. They might just the dog. Okay, this is from a Tree in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it right across the top, and it should be okay. And they Tammy, shove these things in the P.O. Box. Open small envelope first. So that would be this one. Okay. A friend loves at all times. It's, a, it's yeah. a Snoopy sticker on the outside. Okay, I'm opening. It says, hello. Tammy, I happen to run across one of your favorite... Charlottians, mm -hmm. enjoy the enclosed best always tree. So there's the card. Thank you so much for listening to our Bob and Sherry. Uh -huh. Oh cool. my gosh, that is so awesome. Uh... That is so cool. You got Sherry to sign that. That that is cool. That, or I'm assuming that Sherry. It looks like an S. Yeah, it looks like an S. They scribble so many signatures, it's hard to. Thank you, and they even put Tammy. Tammy, cool. thank you so much for listening to our show. That is the coolest thing. <laughs> oh, that's so unique. Thank you very, very much. Yes, I love for everybody that's puzzled right now. Bob and Sherry is a uh they're a talk show they're a radio talk show yeah and they talk about everything and i mean everything everything yeah. and then they have this special show now called the Oddcast. it's a podcast so yeah anything they can't talk about on the radio for one reason or another they talk about on the Oddcast. and so i have a an app on my phone and um I listen to the podcast. I wait until it plays on the air and then I listen to it while I'm putting on my makeup or while I'm making videos. If I'm resizing like hundreds of pictures, I'll sit there and listen to the podcast. Sometimes I'm um, exercising, but I love them and I think they're the most interesting people, both of them. I think I'm a lot like Bob, but I love Sherry. Uh, so anyway. The Oddcast does, they do cuss. Oh yes. Quite they, a bit. They, <laughs> Yeah. I don't see how they keep from doing it on the air when they do it on the podcast. And it's I said that fun. at the very beginning. I, that would be my biggest fear would be that I would slip during a regular show. Yeah. Because if of you're... Of course, you got Max. If you're used it. to putting these bombs out on the, the mm -hmm. podcast, it just seems like that would come out of your mouth all the time. Yeah. But, you know what? It's probably no different for them than their ordinary lives. If they, they talk like this all the That's time. True. That's and true. And they're holding back. But then the whole mindset would be different. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're still in like work. Like you're in church or something. If you're in work and you've got the, the headphones on and all that, it seems like. No, no. I wouldn't be able to do it. I would, yeah. I, I think I would be scared. So, but thank you very much. That is so cool. Okay, you know who this is on? This is from Malcolm in the United Kingdom, sure I and I know what's going to be in here, so I'm so very excited. First of all, um, Kevin told me that this envelope was in our... <laughs> they had bowed it like double. Yeah, it was in our P.O. box bowed, but it's all flat now. Claim your free book, Healthy Diet. So he sent me a magazine, and the... oh, here it is. Look, 
I have a certificate. Mr. Mint and Little Miss, happy birthday. Congratulations. Enjoy your special day Tammy. From all your friends in nonsense land, Mr. Birthday and Little Miss Birthday. Look, I have my own certificate and my no. own book. <laughs> <laughs> the most awesome thing ever and then he sent me a tesco magazine which this looks awesome looks i can't wait to go through that the tesco magazine i am going to read this story after we open the next box that way if you don't want to hear the story uh you you don't have to it will be after this box opening but if you do want to hear the story uh tammy and the special in the silly birthday then just hang on and i'm gonna read it for you so this box is from mishmish in michigan and she is kind of upset <laughs> because, because i can understand her first she's kind of frustrated that's a better word because she found some cereals for us that she wanted to surprise us with. And we, so she watched our grocery haul Monday and she's like, you didn't buy any of it in your grocery haul. But what she didn't know was that same day that that grocery haul came out, we had actually been to the store and we apparently bought the cereals that she sent us. But I told her, no worries because these cereals are awesome. Both of them are awesome. I think she sent us the banana pudding. Do you see that in there? Good one. Okay. The banana pudding and Oreo O's. Yes. Thank you for spending your money on one way to Yes. <laughs> I can tell you They're right very, now oh yeah. these are excellent. that these will be making an appearance in this month's favorites video. Mm -hmm. because Both of them are really good. That good. Yes. So... Um, don't worry about it. I actually gave our box of Oreo O's to, to uh, Gavin. Gavin and Amelia so that they could eat it. So, um, because I actually wanted to keep them. And so she's been eating on, we've, we've both have been be eating on just plain, dry. just, just dry out of the box. And so I'm sure she hasn't noticed yet that that box is gone. Cause I just gave them to him last night after the live show. Uh, so thank you. You you we might not have done a video on the ones you sent, but we will enjoy the ones you sent very much. And the banana pudding are awesome. I hope that you bought both of these for yourself too. Hey, I'm just gonna read one thing. She okay. says, Well, hello again. I call this the box of chips. Oh full of chips and other things too. Better made. Those better made chips are really good. Cheddar and sour cream. That's because they use real, like, all potatoes. And I mean, and somebody told me that a lot of potato chips they don't. That it's. What are they? Well, the like these, starchy, like starch and stuff. Yeah, and that these are like the real deal. Right. Like these are the well, real. They were really, really good. Yeah. As a matter so, of fact, we tried. That we reviewed the little uh, potato sticks. Yes. That we got at the Dollar Tree. Yes. I ate every one of them. They were awesome. Yeah. I ate half a bag. Yeah, half a bag was his For my not least now. Yeah. So these are the crinkle cut garlic dill pickle. Those sound awesome. And I can tell you, uh, you sent these at a good time because we don't have any chips right now. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah, we really don't. So we're going to, um, we'll have fun with it. White cheddar popcorn. I didn't know that they made popcorn. And I tell you, uh, uh, Michigan is is very proud of, of their stuff too. I yeah. mean, people that live there are very very proud of of their chips, and you should be. Oh yeah. Sour cream and onion. Okay, so we have cheddar and sour cream, and then sour cream and onion. Cheddar and sour cream are like one of my favorite chips. I think you're actually too. She really likes them. Jalapeno <laughs> cheddars. The packaging of this reminds me of. Uh, is it hers? Hers, yeah. That has these? Yeah, hers yeah. reminds me of those. Yeah, and they were really good, so I can't wait to try these, now and we, I love jalapeno. These, I just mentioned those. <laughs> yes. But I, I love them. Yes, so. he does love these. And you know what? This will probably be, it's two servings, but it's 160 calories per serving. You could technically eat the whole bag. It's 320 for the whole bag. So that's that's part not bad. And that's a lot. What else is in there? There's two Taco Bell chips. Thank you so much for sending me these. 
We have looked everywhere for these, and I'm wondering if they're not like a 7-Eleven exclusive or something. I'm wondering where she found these. No, no. Does she, she say she in that She might hand? say on here. Because I've looked everywhere, and I'm wondering if you found them at 7-Eleven. Uh, these are like the Taco Bell, um, Taco Bell tortilla chips, and this is mild, and this is fire. And if you've ever been to Taco Bell at all, um, the little sauces, uh, the, this looks like a sauce. It's 7-Eleven. She got them at 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Okay, so they must, they have to be an exclusive. I yeah. just, I just have not seen them anywhere. I mean, I mean, we've looked everywhere for them. They were $1.69. Well, you get a lot, though. Yeah. That a dollar sixty nine is stuff. that is pricey. But you know, somebody told me, and I didn't know before. Somebody said that Seven Eleven is a little bit pricey. I didn't ever knew that. Most convenience stores are kind of pricey, yeah. though, if you think about it. Yeah. I mean, if you go to Speedway, it's expensive too. Yeah, that's true. All right, there's this is just I'm just gonna hand you the whole bag. Okay. There's just a bunch of stuff. Oh wow. And she gave you prices and where she bought them at, um, in here. So when you do your review, you'll have the prices and stuff. Look. <laughs> Trolley, Sour Tiny Bright, hands. Tiny Hands, Deadpool 2. I had seen a picture of these, but Tiny I never hands. thought That's that hilarious. we would be able to try them. I can't wait to try them. They're literally hands. Okay, these are mini ice cream cones. Oh, I, I love trying to same thing as those, um, those remind me of those, um, that we just tried. We just tried from, from Australia. From Australia. Yeah, yeah, they're from Australia. Um, Assorted oh, filled licorice, and you know we love to take these out on the front porch while we're playing a game and go through a bag. Orange sherbet gummy bears. I've never mm. even seen those. Slurpee 3D gummies, cherry and blue raspberry. That sounds good. <laughs> like I love Slurpees. <gasps> Hi, <laughs> Milky Way fudge. Is oh, that the ones you've been looking for? Yes. Well, I'm glad we hadn't done them. <laughs> Uh, let me We've looked everywhere for them. Yes, that, yes, we have literally been looking for weeks for these. And I actually, I have, um, I bought the Hershey's, uh, the layers, the cookies and cream layers bars, and I was gonna put them with this, uh, with these bar, with the Milky Way, and so I haven't tried them yet because I was waiting for these. Now I can try them. I will probably put those together just so you know. Okay. But I was still, Say that you would give you them. credit. Uh, well, hello again. I call this uh, call this the box of chips. Here are more of the better made chips, along with some goodies from 7-Eleven that I don't think you've tried before. I couldn't find the new pies from 7-Eleven, but I'm still looking. The Deadpool cups were a promotional item for 7-Eleven only, and the straws as well. What are the straws? I'll show you. Oh. Um, as well. I thought of Kevin when I seen them, so I thought I would throw those in. I hope there are no duplicates, really so that I, and I hope you like them and you can just enjoy. Thank you again for your video, sincerely, Mishmish, um, mish -mish. and she. Um, okay, the price is in the place she bought them. Yes. Okay. The only duplicates are the cereals and the potato sticks. Oh, and these, which, which I I love anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Right. So these are the straws. Oh my gosh, that's they're cool. Awesome. It's Deadpool holding on to a straw. Oh, um, he's like strip pole in it. Can I tell you something? Andrew uh, is gonna be so. He's like doing the strip strip on the on the pole. Let's see. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew is gonna be so jealous. He is literally going to be so jealous okay. that you sent us these. Alright, okay, now here's the cups. I'll have to put these on display. Slurp harder. <laughs> that, you know who's going to love these cups? Ashley. Oh, well, I got another for you. Okay. That one's slurp harder. I slurp like this one. Slurp harder. Okay. Make your tongue twerk. <laughs> <laughs> this must be kind of a raunchy movie. Yeah, he is. is. it? Okay, okay. See, I have not seen. Have you we seen the to, first one? Yes, we, okay. I need to get you to watch the first one. Okay, it, I, yeah, I need to see it. <laughs> but I can tell you, without even seeing the movie, I think these are awesome. Ashley loves, she Cups. is a fan of a good cup. And when I was growing up and when the kids were little, we always had cups like this. 
And when we would take them out to eat to places like um, Applebee's and Max and Irma's. You get you, a kid's meal. Yeah, you get a kid's meal and it came with a plastic, plastic cup and you plastic would get lid. a plastic lid. We would always take those home oh, yeah. and that was their, they yeah. would use those cups and we would like Stick. fill it with uh, chocolate milk or whatever and they would put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. And, Stick a straw on it and go. Yeah, and so that we were always had, if you looked in our refrigerator, we always had cups in there. So um, anyway, thank you so much. This is awesome. Please don't feel bad about sending the cereal uh, because, uh, yeah, this is this is just so much fun, everything that you sent, and we really appreciate it. So so we're going to move this stuff out of the way, yes. and then you're going to read the book. Yes. So here it is, Tammy and the Silly Birthday. That is so awesome. And this book, it feels like it's, I don't know if it's longer. Um... And this is by, the original concept was by Roger Hargreaves, and this was written and illustrated by Adam Hargreaves. The pages are, it seems like they're thicker. This is, um, it says, one morning Tammy was woken up by a tapping sound. It was still very early. Tap, tap, came the noise again. There was someone tapping at the window. Tammy got out of bed to see what was going on. That's, that's me. I wonder if you could pick the character, like the hair. Yes, yes, the oh, color. Really? That, yes. That's cool. You got to pick out her hair and everything. Hello, Tammy. I'm Little Miss Birthday, said Little Miss Birthday. And I'm Mr. Birthday, said Mr. Birthday. We have a birthday party to organize today. Would you be able to help us? I'm afraid we're in a bit of a hurry. Tammy could not believe what they had said and agreed to help straight away. They all climbed into Mr. Birthday's car and set off. So I got to go in Mr. Birthday's car. Your first job, Tammy, is to bake a cake, said Little Miss Birthday. But Tammy did not know how to bake a cake. Don't worry, said Mr. Birthday. You have somebody to help you. Look, here we are. And where they were was at Mr. Messy's house. I don't think I have relatives in California. <laughs> you did. Hello, said Mr. Messy. Do you like cake? Yes, said Tammy, especially birthday cake. I love upside down cake. Upside down on the floor cake, that is, said Mr. Messy. Let's get baking. What a mess the kitchen was in before they began. It was nothing compared to the mess that was left when they had finished baking the cake. Tammy and Mr. Messy were covered in egg and flour and sugar and icing. My goodness. And the cake did not look much better either. In fact, Tammy thought it was the oddest cake ever. There, said Mr. Messy, perfect. But the icing and the candles are all in the middle of the cake, said Tammy. That's just silly. But that's the whole idea, Mr. Messy replied. <laughs> Little Miss Birthday arrived to collect Tammy and the cake. Right now, we need to buy the present, said Little Miss Birthday. They drove to the pet shop. I was thinking something like that would be perfect, said Little Miss Birthday, pointing to a huge elephant outside the pet shop. A pet elephant? What a silly present, exclaimed Tammy. But that's the whole idea, Little Miss Birthday said. Tammy's next job was wrapping the elephant, so they drove it to Mr. Tickle's house. Mr. Tickle's long arms came in very useful when he'd stopped tickling Tammy, and soon the elephant was wrapped. There, that looks great, said Mr. Tickle. It looks silly to me, said Tammy, staring at the elephant wrapped in green paper with a big purple bow. But that's the whole idea, said Mr. Tickle. Right time to blow up some balloons. Are you enjoying this? It's cute. Mr. Tickle took Tammy to Little Miss Scatterbrain's cottage. Can you blow up these balloons? Little Miss Scatterbrain asked, and Tammy agreed. Between them, they blew up hundreds of balloons. 
Now we need to get these to the village hall, said little Miss Scatterbrain. But Miss Scatterbrain, why didn't we blow them up at the hall, Tammy said. That's so silly. But that's the whole idea. Off we go, she replied. We're getting there, we're getting to the party. So they drove the balloons to the village hall. What a busy day, said Mr. Birthday, who met them when they arrived at the hall. Right, Tammy, could you please draw a frog on this sheet of paper for the pin the tail game, he asked. But frogs don't have tails, said Tammy. That's just plain silly. But that's the whole idea, Mr. Birthday replied. So Tammy drew a picture of a frog. Then, lots of people began to arrive to help finish off the preparations for the party. Little Miss Neat brought a plate of spaghetti sandwiches. Mr. Small brought a giraffe-shaped jelly. And Little Miss Helpful brought broccoli-flavored ice cream. That sounds terrible. Finally, the birthday guest of honor arrived. I'm sure you can guess by now whose party it was. That's right. Mr. Silly. And what a silly party it was. They played a very short game of pin the tail on the frog because no one knew where the tail should go. But everyone said how much they liked Tammy's frog picture. They played a very long game of musical chairs with one extra chair. An extra chair. Yeah. Yeah. And the party was a huge success. I wish my best friend Kevin was here, said Tammy. Then we could enjoy this silly party together. Silly, said Mr. Silly. Whatever is silly about this party? That was a cute book. That is so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. And they advertise all these... Over 80 books? Yeah, all these books in the back. And I have all the ones that they're advertising. Malcolm, thank you. I'm so... So proud. I, that is so cool. That I love cool. it. Yes, I think that is awesome. I'm going to have to to put this somewhere where everyone can see it. That come. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very, very, very much. This week I'm going to end the vlog in the living room somewhere a little bit different. Um, I want to show you just to to end this. This is over, it's like an hour and 15 minutes or something like that right now. That's why I'm ending it right now. But I, I, I wanted to show you all the books that I got. Um, I, I, I can't remember if I showed you these or not. I got the Frog Prince Continued and this is one that my friend Liz, she uh, wanted, she requested when I was reading books just a week ago or something. Um, <laughs> She requested that I read uh, The Frog Prince Continued and Cinderella Penguin or The Little Glass Flipper. And she was actually going to order, she had ordered this for me from Amazon and they refunded her money and said they didn't have it in stock. So, because I had told her, I looked at our library and the local library here did not have either one of these books. So I said, you know what? I'll get on eBay and see if I can order them from eBay. So I got on eBay, got them both, and got them in the mail this week. They're very cute books. I like The Frog Prince Continued uh, much, much more than um, Cinderella Penguin. Cinderella Penguin, for me, it was, it was the basic Cinderella story. You know, it was just with a penguin. So, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like really, really good. But I'm still glad that I have it to add to our library. Um, but The Frog Prince Continued, I just thought this was hilarious. Uh, they um, they uh, don't get along at all. The the princess, you know, the, the princess kisses the frog and, and uh, the frog turns into a prince. Well, this is that story continued and um, 
they just aren't getting along well and it's just funny the back and forth banter between them is hilarious and then the pictures are funny so i really enjoyed that one uh, then mr funny's red nose day someone asked me if i was going to read this i'm actually filming this on red nose day so it would i would have uh, had I been still reading, I would have had this up for you all today. That person asked me if I would show some of the pages. Um, I do not know why, but they, they're they in Canada. The person's in Canada, and they said that they do not get a lot of the uh, Mr. Man, Little Miss books in Canada. And so they found my channel because of these books. And so that person was really interested in seeing this one in particular. And if it hadn't been for this person, you know, I would have never known that this book even existed. But I do have to say, um, if, you know, they um, there's a lot of like, they do a lot of comedy shows and stuff like that for, to raise money for Red Nose Day. This book was probably, out of all the Mr. Man Little Miss books, I really, really like them all. And this was one that I can say, it's probably my least favorite. And I, I don't I don't know what it was. There was just, there just wasn't, there just wasn't a big connection for me with this book. And if that person's watching, you can pause the video. They wanted me to show the pages. So you can pause the video on each one of these pages and uh, then you can see what it says. Big truck going by. Uh, but this, for some reason this, it, I mean it wasn't bad or anything like that. It just, you have your, your favorite books and this one just wasn't one of my favorites. But I am uh, thrilled to have it to uh, have for my collection because I, I will always keep these. These are something that, um, you know, I told Ashley that she can have a lot of my books um, and she can share them with her kids. These are not books that she will get to share with the kids. These books, I mean, she took one to school the other day, but she read it to them and then she brought it back home. So it's not like it was like on a bookshelf in the classroom. It's not like it was passed around or anything. So it looks like me and Guido are going to be ending the video for the week. Guido and I uh, made a video where he ate some treats. Yes. And he used to be able to, when you would say the word, do you want a treat or are you hungry or things like that, he could hear you and he knew exactly what you were talking about. Nowadays, he just doesn't have a clue. So we go by the hand motions, like I've said. So anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this week's video. It was a little bit different because we went to Aldi, but we had a blast. We really did have a good time and I'm glad that we found uh, we found a better Aldi than the first one that we went to. Uh, we were really impressed with the second Aldi that we went to, so I know we'll, we'll go back again. So anyway, I hope you all have a good week to come, and thanks for watching.